Good morning. It's Tuesday morning. I hope you are all doing well, you're staying safe and healthy. Today we sing another classic hymn, O Master, Let Me Walk With You. Washington Gladden, so named because his great-grandfather served as George Washington's bodyguard during the Revolutionary War, was a congregational pastor. He served in New York, Massachusetts, and Ohio during the post-Civil War industrial era when racial and economic injustice was rampant. People everywhere were searching for a new American ethic. Washington wanted to give them one. And he is remembered today as the father of the social gospel in America, an activist who crusaded tirelessly for political and moral reform in industry, commerce, and politics. He was a champion of the working man, a strong supporter of union rights, and he was unafraid to attack corruption in politics. He embraced evolution and opposed the outreach efforts of evangelists like Billy Sunday. He infuriated his own denomination by railing against a large gift to foreign missions because it was donated by the Standard Oil Company. Standard Oil Co Company, you'll know, it was owned by John D. Rockefeller and was the, one of the big monopolies that Teddy Roosevelt's administration went after in the first decade of the 20th century. Not surprisingly, he was opposed by many in his own denomination, and during a period of heavy criticism, he sat alone in his church and wrote this hymn. Dr. Charles H. Richards later saw it in a magazine, and while loving the poem, was troubled by the second verse. O Master, let me walk with thee, before the taunting Pharisee. Help me to bear the sting of spite, the hate of men who hide thy light, the sore distrust of souls sincere who cannot read thy judgments clear, the dullness of the multitude who dimly guess that thou art good. After discarding that verse, Richard selected music for the remaining stanzas and included them in his book Christian Praise. Somewhat ironically, perhaps, Christians of all stripes have embraced this as a prayer of their own while laboring for the Master in a world desperately needing the transformation of Christ. I suppose, because like all good hymns, uh, this one transcends all divisions of politics, class, everything that, that we human beings create to divide us. Reading today is from Deuteronomy. This entire commandment that I command you today, you must diligently observe so that you may live and increase and go in and occupy the land that the Lord promised on oath to your ancestors. Remember the long way that the Lord your God has led you these 40 years in the wilderness in order to humble you, testing you to know what was in your heart, whether or not you would keep his commandments. He humbled you by letting you hunger, then by feeding you with manna, with which you, neither you nor your ancestors were acquainted, in order to make you understand that one does not live by bread alone, but by every word that comes from the mouth of God. The clothes on your back did not wear out, and your feet did not swell these forty years. Know then in your heart that as a parent disciplines a child, so the Lord your God disciplines you. Therefore, keep the commandments of the Lord your God by walking in his ways and by fearing him. For the Lord your God is bringing you into a good land, a land with flowing streams, with springs and underground waters welling up in valleys and hills, a land of wheat and barley, of vines and fig trees and pomegranates, a land of olive trees and honey, a land where you may eat bread without scarcity where you will lack nothing, a land whose stones are iron, and from who, whose hills you may mine copper. Word of God, word of life, thanks be to God. Today's accompaniment, it was recorded by Ruth Blum. Thanks to Ruth for providing this for today. See?
us in your kingdom and teach us to pray. Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name, your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as in heaven. Give us today our daily bread. Forgive us our sins as we forgive those who sin against us. Save us from the time of trial and deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Amen. Almighty God, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit, bless you now and forever. God be with you. Be safe, and I will see you again on Thursday.